Lake Worth High School, in association with Lockheed Martin Palm Beach, presents Ask an Engineer, where real students ask sincere questions and local engineers give practical answers. Hi, my name is Safoni and I am a sophomore at Lake Worth High. In algebra and geometry, we'll learn about linear equation and how to find their slope. Can you give me an example of how these skills are useful in engineering? Hey Safoni, I can absolutely give you an example where slopes and y plus equals mx plus b is super important. Um, imagine that you have a sensor and that sensor is a 4 to 20 milliamp sensor. When you um, need to calculate what the sensor is measuring versus what you are receiving as a signal, which would be the 4 to 20 milliamps, let's say it's a temperature sensor, you have a scale. So from 0 to 100 is the temperature that you're measuring, but the sensor provides you with an output of 4 to 20 milliamps. You need to calculate the slope and directly correlate those 4 to 20 milliamps to those 0 to 100 degrees. Hi, Safoni. Great question. Actually, uh, Linear systems and equations are very useful for engineers, uh, especially when we want to understand the dynamics or the change of, uh, of a system. Uh, for example, I have a robot here, okay? And this robot has various sensors so that it can navigate autonomous, autonomously uh, around the world. Now, in order for it to do that, it has to understand uh, its position and it also has to understand what it's doing during a certain time. And therefore, some of these, uh, some of these uh, equations that define um, these dynamics can be very complex. And linear systems allows us to take these complex equations, okay, condense them to a smaller size so that we can understand it. And once we understand that, we can then make predictions and possibly control things. Now, what I have here is an example of a, possibly a classroom example here that you guys probably do where we have an equation here. Uh, we have x prime equals some matrix times another matrix plus another matrix here. Now, this may look easy. You guys can probably uh, solve this on your own on a, very quickly on a piece of paper. However, but what if these matrices were huge? You wouldn't really understand what's actually what is this equation actually doing, uh, and it can be become very complex. However, with linear equations, we can simplify this by saying, "Hey, let's make this a, let's make this x, and let's make this b." Well, then we get an equation x uh, x prime equals a x plus b, which is more simpler than this. And in relation to that. Let's, I want to relate it to what you guys are doing now in which I think you guys are working on maybe uh, the equation of a line, right? Well, that's very similar to y equals mx plus b. It's the same exact form. So as you can see, we, can, we just took something very complex here, okay, and condensed it to something that we understand now. So I hope that answers your question.